Oh man, <clears throat> what a wonderful day it is to be living in Nebraska. Nice, cool, crisp, 35 degree freaking weather right now. It is a little bit chilly. As you see, I got the old, the old class. You guys remember this? For all you long time flare fishing fan members, you guys remember this little do here. Got the old cold gear on and uh, gonna be doing something that I, I have done before. I have done this before, but there's a twist to it, guys. This has been done a trillion times on YouTube. It is the $25 Walmart challenge, which is where you take 25 bucks, you have to go buy rod, reel, line, and lures, and go catch fish, which most people did this during the summer, which is great, you know, I'm not hating, because I've done, I've done them too, but that's pretty easy. I mean, all you gotta do is, you gotta just go buy a Senko, and, and you know, a weightless hook, and in your, your rod and reel, and you can pretty much go catch fish in any given pond, but it's cold. It is so freaking cold. The pond that I'm going to today might even be frozen. It's been freezing on and off. I'm gonna be going with one of my buddies, Josh, and uh, so I'm gonna to make it a little bit more of a challenge than it normally is, and I'm going to do it in the winter. Right now, it's the first week of December. It's freaking cold outside. I'm all bundled up. I got my thermals on, ready to rock and roll, so it's gonna be interesting. It could be a total bust of a video, but I'm gonna give it a shot, but before I do that, before I do that, I got very exciting news for you guys right here you guys know the flare froggin flipping stick it is now back in stock it was out of stock for five freaking months it took so you guys blew them out i mean you guys literally bought every single one of them they were completely gone and then it took five months to get them and i only have a hundred of them i convinced favor to save a hundred for you guys because you know cabela's has been buying them and it's really hard to keep them in stock on the website but i told them i said i need some for my flare fishing fam it's christmas coming up here and the holiday season is here and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me when it's coming back in stock it is back in stock right now we have 100 of them and then they are gone what I'm gonna do is at the end of this video I'm gonna give away that one right there you gotta stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how to win one as well as if you buy one of the 100 uh, frog and flare flipping sticks that are available on the website you will get a signed card personally hand signed card from me and it will be delivered with your rod. So that is the deal right now. Links down below, you check it out. It is the best frog and flip stick on the market at the best price possible. Only 100 of them left. If you buy them right now, this weekend, this weekend, you will get them by Christmas. So drop the link down below, get them. Otherwise they're gone and I will not have any more until probably spring and I don't even know if I'll have them then. It is very hard to get these guys back in stock. I'm gonna shut up. We gotta go inside Walmart and uh, try to buy some lures and a rod and reel for 25 bucks and go catch some winter bass. All right, made it back to the, ooh, ooh, $10 rod and reel. Holy crap, really Walmart? All right, this this should be interesting. That might be the, might be the cheapest option here, 10 bucks. Oh God, I wonder how brutal this is gonna be. The question is, do I spend $10 on a rod and reel and line? Or do I, oh wow, I don't even know if I can set the hook. I might need to go, I might need to upgrade to the $13 one. All right, let me, let's do this. Let me pick out my lures first. The lures that I, I know I'm gonna need and then I'll come back for a rod and reel. I honestly don't know if one much gonna have. What's up? Oh, what's up? Oh my God, man, how's it going, dude? I'm good. I'm I'm vlogging, dude. dude you're in the that, you're man. in the vlog. I'm How's doing a Walmart on? challenge. Dude, awesome. What do you guys got going on? Um, I have 25 bucks. Yeah. And I have to buy a rod, real line, and lures and go catch fish today. Going against anybody or? No, just chilling. Just solo. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome, man. Guggen Squad, right? Guggen Squad, yeah. Dude, that that's awesome. what's up. Jesus. Hell yeah. I do security actually for this door, and I'm like, I saw. Oh you? Oh really? Dude, and I'm like. Wait, can I say that on camera? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, made... I saw the cameras, dude. I saw you running around with it. I'm like, who's that? Your face got closer. I'm like, dude, that's Andrew Flair. So you like, ran I, down from... I ran straight from the office. I'm like, dude, I got to say what's up. That is so dude, funny. Awesome. So yeah. you saw me on the security cameras and yeah. you're like, let me go Let me go check out the suspicious kid with this goofy yeah. ass hat. Running I like it. Holding the, holding holding the, the camera, camera, right? But yeah, man. Awesome, dude. It was a nice to meet you. Yeah, man. Like, nice to meet you. Time, dude. Awesome, dude. I take care, man. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. What am I going to pick here? We got We got a selection. I'm thinking... Winter time, I'm thinking Ned Rigs. Ned Rigs, I don't know, I've just had the best luck this year with these stupid Ned Rigs. I don't know what it is about them, just little tiny little Senko looking things. That is cool though, that is cool. I love meeting you guys, subscribers. It is awesome when they come out. If you guys ever see me in public, don't be, don't hesitate. You don't have to come up to me. I mean, I'm kind of weird, but don't hesitate. I love meeting all you guys. It's really awesome to see that. Now, first time ever I've had a security guy from Walmart see me on the cameras, come down and say hi. Shout out to you, homie. Really appreciate that. Now I gotta find some, find some baits that I'm gonna catch some fish with. This is what I've got so far. We got the little stand-up heads, which, how much are these? These are two something, 236. And then these, oh yeah, that's who I'm fishing with. Homie right there. Oh, oh, what's up? He's here. And uh, 
two ninety six. So what's the math on that? Two, four, five, six, six bucks or so. That leaves me with like four dollars. God, this challenge sucks. Here's my setup. That was God six dollars plus five, eleven plus ten, pretty much twenty five. You know, I was never good at chemistry. But we're gonna we're gonna roll with this setup. Of course, gotta rock. Gotta rock the pink, the pink pole. This is gonna suck. This is this this is probably like literally like three and a half pound test line on here. And uh, I don't know, Josh and I, we're gonna we're gonna go give a give it a whirl. What are you buying? Just a bunch of lipless crankbaits. So at least I picked one of the good baits. I don't know about this whole Ned rig deal, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm about, to, I'm about to straight up fight somebody. They said this, I was gonna say, I'm not that bad at math. They said this was $9. I wonder if it was a different one. All right, well, I gotta, I gotta raise some hell here in this Walmart real quick. In order for us to price match with it, it has to be for pickup today, and it is. It is. How about that, folks? It's supposed to be $10, rang up as 13, checked online. It's for seven, so $7 fishing pole with rod reel in line, that's a pretty good deal. Well, we're leaving Walmart. I only ended up spending a little over $20, which I probably should have went and bought another crankbait, but, you know, I was just too lazy to go back and get anything. The lady was nice enough to give me online pricing, oh, yeah. which was $7 for a rod and reel. I don't think I've ever bought or even seen a $7 rod and reel combo in my entire life. But for some crazy reason, she gave it to me for 7 bucks, And uh, so, yeah, I spent 20 bucks, so it t went from the $25 down to the $20 Walmart challenge. A few moments later... Woo! It's a little bit breezy, folks. If you don't remember, this pond, this is the pond that I ice fished and fell in, and I was actually with Josh. So we were in the exact same spot that we were when I fell in. If you guys didn't see that, uh, roll the clip. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, not, not, not my brightest moment. We decided to go ice fishing with two inches of ice and 70 degree day. So in the morning it was fine. And then as the sun heated up the ice, I fell through. Josh, Josh got off. I fell through. It happens. You know, I think I had two poles fall in the water, ruined the Vexlar, just fun stuff. Anyways, I'm here. Got the pink, the pink panther over here with, I'm going to start off with the little Ned rig, a little chartreuse tip tailed. Not sure why I went with that, but just, just a good, I don't know. We're going to give her a shot. Here goes nothing folks. This is water clarity looking like. Good enough. Oh, beautiful. How's my drag? Yep, non-existent. Let's try loosen that guy up. Oh, that sounds better. Okay. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. A little $7 Walmart challenge or something. $7 Walmart rod plus five dollars ten no ten dollars of lures i don't know i can't do math the sensitivity with this rod is absolutely fantastic is that a fish yeah, I didn't oh oh you got one josh is hooked up first first fish of the day oh that's not a bad one the gosh darn monster. it's not bad hell it's freaking cold yeah you can totally tell how cold it is wow that's a skinny fish homeboy needs to be eaten a little bit more he needs to be, stop eating the freaking ned rigs well that gives me a little bit of hope we're throwing almost the same thing right yeah ned rig little chartreuse little something or another oh oh here we go there we go come on yep yep come on oh god come on come on pink panther reel this girl in yeah that's a fish that's a fish honestly feels like 27 pounds don't think it is because this rod is not the strongest but i got a fish folks holy buckets holy buckets holy buckets get in here son get in here son <laughs> oh yeah finally look at that Oh my gosh, dude, I got so lucky. Look at this, right in the corner of the mouth, barely even hooked. Literally, not even, nothing was stopping it. It was a giant hole. It was just pressure. Pressure kept that fish on. Look how pale that is, though. That is a winter fish if I have ever seen one. Absolutely frozen. These fish are so dang cold. I'm gonna release this guy. Don't wanna keep him out too long. See you later, Elvira. Whoop! Boom, back in the water, Elvira goes. Hey, Elvira, the lake, the lake is that, yeah, there you go, there you go. Woo! Freaking smoked them. That was the first time I had felt a bite. I said something like, oh yeah, there's a bite. Set the hook, barely caught that fish. I got so lucky that I actually landed that thing. This challenge is definitely harder than I thought. My hands are pretty much numb at this point. We're walking around this pond trying to figure out where, where the fish are schooled up. This time of year, these fish, they group up a lot. 
usually on like the drop offs, especially on ponds. Like it's shallow here, and then there'll be a drop off. They'll be they'll be hunkered down over there, and uh, they'll be hunkered down kind of where that drop off is, or any brush piles or rocks. There's not really any brush or rocks out here that that we know of, but whoo, that makes me feel so good. A little adrenaline gets my blood flowing. I can actually start to feel my hands once again. Let's see if we can catch another one. Uh oh, is that a fish? Oh, dude, he ate it snapping it. Yeah, that is a fish. It was snapping it. That's crazy. It was like a reaction bite, like almost like a jerk bait. Oh, that is a fish. Okay, I see what's going on here. Yeah, buddy. That might be a little bit better. Oh, it is a better fish. Okay, that is so strange. I did not expect that at all. He choked it too. He choked it. He choked it. Come on, stay on. Stay on. Get up here. Woo! Oh, look at that. We get caught a little fish wearing some lipstick. I see what's going on with you. Yeah, that was a better hook set. There we go. That's crazy. I saw I was, I was snapping it. I couldn't tell if it was weeds or whatever. And I snapped it once, snapped it twice, and it completely destroyed it. Just, I thought I just smacked the, I don't even know, the side of a log or a rock or something. So they want it moving. That's a good, good sign. Might even time that little, that little lipless now that I know that they're a little bit more active. But a little frozen fish over here. Put him back. All right, see you later, little Betty. Boom! God, these fish are freezing. It's great when I catch fish, but then my hands get wet. Now, now they're pretty much numb. But again, if you guys haven't seen the lure that I'm using, something I've never, uh, I shouldn't say I've never used. I don't know if I've used one with the chartreuse tail like this. I've thrown a lot of shaky heads with like finesse worms like this, but I don't think I've ever thrown a net root with the chartreuse. It's just something that stands out, just something that the fish can see. Got a little weed guard on there. And uh, so far it's working, but again, snapping it was so strange. I threw it out there, sitting on the bottom, and I was snapping it like this, like literally like a jerk bait, and it just completely obliterated. Now I'm wishing I would have spent the extra five bucks on a jerk bait because I would have may maybe could have dialed something in. But right now, I am catching fish. I'm not complaining. We're hooked up. We got a big one. We got a giant. God, it is so cold. My hands are like numb right now. We're catching fish though. Well, I mean, you're catching more, but there you go. That ain't bad. That one ain't as ugly. No. We're, we're, we're still catching fish. The old Ned Rig bite's starting to turn on fire here. Classic little winter winter tactic. It's a pretty much a year-round tactic now. I, I discovered this little bad boy like last spring, like a year, not like a year and a half ago maybe. This little bad boy, it just straight catches them. I mean, you ain't got to catch no broods, but I mean, y'all just watching this, trying to go catch some fish at your grandpappy's pond in the winter? Tie yourself on a Ned Rig. Get your pink panther rod and you're good to go. Oh, oh, you hooked? Is that biggin? Oh God, is that a biggin? Oh God, it's a biggin. Oh God, it's a biggin. What is it? I don't know. But I... It's not, I mean, it's fighting, but it's, oh yeah, that's oh, a fish. Tree. Oh my God, it's a tree. We got a tree pounder. Wait, no, there's a fish on it. There's a fish. There's a fish on it. I do have a fish. You do have a fish. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I literally, I mean, did you, I thought it was moving too, so when it came up as a tree, I was like, are you shitting me? A little tree pounder, I'd say. Tree pounder tree, right there. Tree pounder, son. Good stuff. Well, there you go. We, uh, we moved the other, so this is the original pond. This is the pond that I fell in. This wind's great. This is the pond over here that I fell in. Actually, I fell literally right there. Or, yeah, no, yeah, it was over there. And then this is another pond. So, like, two ponds in one. This pond, we're thinking it's got the roots in it, so we're gonna see if we can catch a big one. Got one tree pounder so far, woo! 20 minutes later. What do you think about this? What do you think about the snow? It's, uh, it's get beautiful. You, get you excited about life? I'd say it's at least uh, 90 degrees out. <laughs> um, it's one of the best days of fishing of my whole life. Oh, we're, uh, we're wait, look at it, it's literally snowing. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but it's, it is snowing. I am not about to fish in the snow. My hands are completely numb. They've been numb this entire time. So I'm taking off. Shout out to Josh for, uh, for putting me on the juice. He actually has a website, I'll link down below, called Pig Patrol. He sells some pretty dope stuff. I'll, like I said, I'll link down below if you guys want to check it out. It's pretty, pretty dope fishing gear. Um, but yeah, it's snowing. I'm gonna, I need to shut up. I need to get in my truck before I get hypothermia because I like literally, no BS, cannot feel my freaking hands right now.
It is a, uh, it's a little bit chilly this morning. I wanted to do the outro today because it basically snowed and I came home and I had a bunch of, bunch of work to get done, but now it is the next morning and it is even colder. It's 18 degrees right now. It felt like negative three this morning and I'm going duck hunting tomorrow, <laughs> not fishing. This was probably my last fishing adventure, open water fishing adventure in Nebraska of the entire season. Um, it was a decent one. I wanted to end it on a, uh, a banger of a, of a challenge video and it was okay it wasn't the greatest thing in the world I had fun though again shout out to Josh for uh, for putting me on a little bit of sauce there hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys enjoyed the Walmart challenge you know you don't need a bunch of fancy gear all the time to catch fish it certainly helps to be able to actually feel the bites when you get them and not have a pool noodle level fishing rod with you but you know it's not always necessary for those of you guys watching that don't have a bunch of money you can do what I did and buy a seven dollar pole and go catch fish anyways thank you guys so much for watching Oh yeah, I'm giving away a fishing pole. How you can enter to win the flare frog and flipping stick. I'm giving away the one that I have. You have to comment a video suggestion down below. Whether a challenge video or a species to target, a location to go to, um, maybe go hunting for a certain species, something like that. A video suggestion is what I need from you guys and I will randomly select one person, one comment. So just comment one time down below a video suggestion. What do you want to see me do? Where do you want to see me go? What do you want to see me kill? What do you want to see me catch? What do you want, what do you want to see? Just let me know in the comment section down below. That is how you enter to win the favorite fishing pole. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.